Hello and welcome to another three lap challenge. In this series we take a randomly selected car and track and have just three laps to get into the top ten of that particular time trial leaderboard. Now the randomizer has picked an interesting combination this week. It's a Brazilian track and it's in a car that you'll probably be familiar with. I've blurred out the dashboard just not to give it away just yet so let's do our three laps and set a time and then we'll show you the randomizer in action picking this car and track combination and we've gone out already so we're going to push on forwards and we will try and get our three laps done now i quite enjoy this car but i don't drive it all of the time so it takes a little bit of getting used to it. in this circuit I've driven a handful of times on the slightly longer version of this track as the sun comes in and I believe that this version of the circuit was one of the very first in the official time trial of the week that Riser runs within the game and it was in the uh The hot cars, as they're called, if I remember correctly. I think it was one of the VWB also. That was the last time I drove this particular version of the circuit. And I actually feel that these cars are quite well suited to this circuit. So there's the end of our lap. And I think we're ahead of the ghost. So, the world record of a 46 is pretty good by the looks of it, for a three lap challenge anyway. So, we'll push on for this remainder of this lap, and I've gone too deep there. Get round, come on. And I dare say there's regulars out there that know the game so well, they know exactly what this car is. But for those that don't know which car it is just yet, stick around for the randomizer at the end of this lap. And it looks like our lap two, as usual, is our fastest. And after the randomizer, we will push on and try and get our ultimately fast lap and hopefully get the world record. And I challenge you guys to push the three lap and let me know down below and then push on to the fastest lap and also let me down let me know down in the comments so let's go and look at the randomizer welcome to my randomizer and as usual we're going to click two times so you can see that it is random so there's one click there's two clicks so we've got G G joey yarn i'm not even going to attempt that because i don't <laughs> i don't want to offend anybody the short version of that track somebody let me <laughs> Let me know how you pronounce that. Oh, try typing it out in the comments down below how to pronounce it. And in the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup, the 3.8 version. So let's see how we get on with that, everybody. So yes, we're back at Guiana. I think that's how you pronounce it. After all those struggles I had, where I nearly hurt myself trying to pronounce it. I've been away and I've googled it and checked to see what the pronunciation is in Portuguese and it seems to be that or as close to that as I can manage anyway so we've loaded up the current world record holder oh, we're not going to do it that way concentrating and we're in the Porsche GT3 3.8 cup car and it's a bit of a handful until you get, get the hang of it, really. And once you kind of settle in with it, I really do enjoy this car. But it takes me a few laps to get into the the drift with it. Because <laughs> it does like to hang its tail out. Right, let's try and beat this world record holder. to wait patiently on the gas there. Trying to set it up under braking. Don't go wide, don't go wide, and we've gone wide. Oh, we're ragged, we're pushing too hard too soon. 
like I say, it takes me a good handful of laps to get back in the uh, Porsche cop mode because it does things like that to me. I've got to be smoother, get the weight transfer better. Oh, I'm off the throttle already because he because it stopped. The ghost stopped on the line, and I come on. Don't follow the ghost. So progressive, progressively coming off the brake. There we go. That was better. Now we're pulling a gap. Just got to get the last corner right. Not brilliant. More time to be had there, that's for certain. But we've got the world record at least. So we'll go again. I tend to wait for the back end just to start drifting and then come off the brakes. Not the best way of dealing with this car, I don't think, but for me at least it's worked so far. Mind the track limits there and get you. Right. And the exit there is interesting. If you're too wide, you don't get the traction from the rubber that's been laid down before you. So getting that driving line out of that corner is quite tricky. We're up on our fastest. See if we can translate that through to a whole lap. That's better line through there. And again, lost a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, I wanted to be in the 45s. an interesting line and it seemed to have worked patience we're up on our previous fastest again I need to nail this final corner too wide get back on get back on oh don't hit all don't get any damage I think that's it for me. I don't think I'm going to do it today. I'm getting frustrated. I can feel myself. I've definitely got a 145 in me. And I know you guys can get as close to 150, um, a 54 second. So if you enjoyed these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe if you've seen all the way to this point. And also, if you wouldn't mind checking out the next videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until the next one, thank you. Bye bye.